Hello, today we're going to be making a nice little painting that you see at the beginning, the little guy running back there hiding behind the bushes and such. So I'm going to run the color palette for you now and I'm going to start on the background. You're going to want to get a midnight black on your background brush. Let's get on there. And just tap it on there. There you go. Just tap it in there. Now don't be shy, this is your world, so you can start wherever you want. I just decided to start right here. Just keep dabbing it on like that, creating, giving it a lot of backdrop. Get some more on there. Oh, that's nice. A lot of color ranges going on right there. A lot of color ranges. Just keep tapping on there with the background brush and cloud shapes, indications of some clouds. Then you're going to want to get some lizard and crimson put on there. You keep the midnight, br midnight black on there. It'll keep it real nice, dark color. There you go. Put some crimson. We're making a nice sunset. So we're going to have a lot of rich, robust reds, some nice yellows. Will look real nice when it's all nice, nicely neat together. I remember back in Oregon, you would sit on the porch, and just watch beautiful sunsets like this over the Pacific Ocean all the time. Get a lot of color out there, beautiful scenery. It's actually where I found, it's where I found my first squirrel at. It's Petey. It's a nice little rascal. He gets into a um, bucket every once in a while, gets his food. Can't control that bugger. Alright, keep tapping on. You're gonna get, still keep the color on that brush. You're gonna get some bright red. Then you're gonna sort of put the outer skirts of the sun rays right there. Remember, don't be shy to put a lot of color into this because it's all gonna be blended back together, anyways. It's gonna be beautiful. Then we got a lot of nice color contrast. Alright, now we're going to go to yellow ochre. It's a dark color. I like this color a lot. It's fun to work with. Look at it. You just put like a sunburst right there. Get a nice color shade. <laughs> Get some cadmium yellow. I'm sorry, the stage, stage crew just cracks me up sometimes. Put cadmium yellow. It's a lighter yellow. But now you sort of have you have the nice sun look. Then we're gonna I'm gonna say with this brush, kinda you might want to wipe it off. Get some of the paint off. Then you're gonna get some titanium white. Just ever so slightly with the edge. Just drag it out. Drag it out. Nice. Nice blend of color. Get some more of that. Blend it in real nice. Look at that sunset. You got clouds, sun. Nice bright spot where the light is coming from. There's our light source. Alright. Now we're just gonna uh, get a fan brush. Uh, get some Van Dyke Brown. And we're just gonna tap in the indications of some trees back here. Maybe a little, a little forest. Add as many trees as you want. This is more just background stuff, so it's all right. And keep it. If you leave some of that white on there, it sort of leaves this mist, mist hue to it. That'll really give it some depth. Like there's some mist, a lot of stuff going on back there. And then maybe just get some midnight black, some bright red, some blues and crimson. Get a nice color there. And then we're just gonna drop in a couple trees. Use the edge of the fan brush. When you get lower, you want to push up or down, depending on what country, part of the country you're at. Some evergreens go up, some other ones go down. I'm going to make ones that go up right now. See a lot of those when I was living in Florida. Beautiful trees. Beautiful trees down there. Alright, that's 
brush about had it. You gotta mix up more the bright red, crimson, midnight black, get a real dark color. And I'm still still throwing some more trees here. Just indications. Now you're gonna get your landscaping knife and time for some big decisions. See how brave you are with this painting. You're gonna get a midnight black, bright red, some yellows and crimson in there. And we're just gonna drop a tree in. You have to add the sounds or it doesn't work. Really fill that knife up so you get a nice tree going down there. Alright, so there's there's a trunk right there. Get some more on the knife. Another big decision. Big decisions this painting has. You put four trees, one tree. It's all up to you. It's really your world. You can do what you like with it. I'm just going to throw a tree in. Maybe a little crooked tree. Old tree right there. There you go. Now this is a neat trick that I like. Take, you get uh, some of that Van Dyke Brown, some of that uh, Midnight Black on one side of the knife right there. Just take a slice of white, titanium white, and instant. Now you got, you got depth on those, you got light coming in, you got light source showing. Just perfect highlights. Look at that. Alright, you're gonna, gonna clean that knife. <laughs> Just beat the devil out of it, really. Stage hands, they hate it. They get covered with paint, but at home you should probably use a bucket just so you don't get paint all over yourself. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna get some more of that dark color. Now we're gonna get some of that yellow ochre in there. Try to lighten it up a little, maybe just a little more. Cause we're trying to make it we're trying to make it a sunset scene. So we're gonna add in some of those lighter colors and the the darker colors too as well. Give it a nice glow. All right, this will be the land. I'm just gonna throw in a little hell right there. Just a slight indication. Alright, now this part's real neat. You just take, take some white on that brush, on that knife, and just add some nice highlights. You don't want to waste all that dark space. The dark space adds depth. Remember that. You gotta keep that depth so that you get a nice dimensional look. Keep going, get some more of that dark landscape color. Throw in another fill right there. Yeah, now you got some contour to the land. That's what I don't like using just straight old lines. That's not in nature. That's never in nature. You always see stuff that bends and twists. So I like adding that touch into all my paintings. I'll just keep adding those, keeping a lot of dark space to separate, give it dimension. Ooh, that looks good. We'll add some, get some more highlights in there. Don't add too much, because then it'll take away from the effect. Just need a little bit. Alright, All right, so, that's the basics on that. Uh, I'm going to grab my, another smaller knife. And we're just, let's, let's add some water. Maybe put put water right here. You're just going to want to grab it and pull down instant reflections. When I was a traditional painter, reflections gave me the hardest time. You had to sit there trying to match and blade, shade and blend. And it's just so difficult. But not with this technique. You just grab it and Put in, put in some dark color right there. 
Okay, something like that. All right, then you're gonna grab some some white on there. Well, you're gonna not this, not with this one. We're gonna use the landscaping at the end. Just slice right through it. Get some on there. Get a roll of paint. I'm just gonna put in slight indications of a water. It's the simplest thing just to get these reflections. Put a nice little soft water line on them. You have glorious water pictures. Just phenomenal. Alright. Now we're gonna, we're gonna fill in some of this space right here. Maybe maybe in your world there's a bunch of little critters out there looking for places to hide. Maybe they want to go hide behind these bushes back here. Let's put in there you go, some bushes on each side. Look at that. Sort of. You want to go in an X motion. My teacher always did that to my papers. She just fits in there, put an X's all over. I uh, guess that's how it got into painting though. <laughs> and let's see. Alright. We're going to work on some of the trees now. Putting some leaves on those trees. I'm gonna get some more of that yellow ochre. A lot of that yellow ochre actually. We want the trees to really pop out from that light. So you just dab it on there. There. You get really nice looking leaves. You need a lot of dark space on these leaves because you're really gonna brighten them up when you put those highlights in there. easiest way to make trees. Just dab with a big fat brush, a one inch brush. Alright, now you're going to want to get some more titanium white and just throw in, just give it that light source that it's looking for. Now don't use up too much of that dark space. Like I said before, that's what gives you depth. Dark space is your friend. Blend a little, give it some shade. You got all these sticks and stuff back here. All the critters like to run back there. All right, now we're gonna add the little, the little painter man that you see running back. We'll make this a path. So I just get a simple knife and we'll just scrape in a path. Look at that. Then you get some of this. Maybe. You see him off in the distance there, just running into the sunlight. Love that little painter guy, he's so cute. I want to thank Bob for... <laughs> Bob and Bob. I want to thank Bob for uh, making that little video at the beginning. Every time I, every time I see that, it makes my heart warm. It's a great job. Great editing job. Got out of Muncie. Um, I'm just going to add in some sticks. Now get some more of that dark color that you've been using for the trees. Gonna add in some branches. There you go. Twisting out there. And I'd say this one is about done. So let's sign it. There's our nice sunset scene that you've been seeing at the beginning of our videos and our show. So, I'd like to wish you a happy painting and God bless.